take a trip through the whole Alabama From the corner to the slammer, from the top to the bottom Let them know we right here And we about to be a problem to the game this year Hope they're ready for the storm Cause this is Rocket City So we ready to go to war They just don't know when they took the chosen one It ignited greatness to come out each one of us I think right now he's doing that, that black college tour. Um, he's, he's been very consistent with his work. And I think more than anything, it's because of the work. Him and Chris Hunter, uh, I really respect them, not only because they're coming from our market, but because I've seen it from that, the, the second issue that we did. I've literally witnessed the growth. And um, you know, I've seen him networking with quite a few people, some big name people, where you know it's only a matter of time. It's inevitable that he's going to get in the studio with him. He's done songs with K-Camp. He's done. Quite a, quite a bit of music, and um, I feel like it's, it's very quality music, it's very unique, it's very distinctive. Uh, at the same time, it represents the culture of, uh, of Huntsville and of Alabama, but um, I just feel like he is the most prepared right now. Okay. Musically, business-wise, market-wise, I feel like he would be the one who is, who is closest to taking that step. Okay. Um, I also... Um, I also am a big fan of... Mike Strange. I like Mike Strange quite a bit. His, um, really from his cadence to his delivery to his personality. What a lot of people don't realize is, is um, music or rap right now is probably about 40% rap, if that, maybe 30% of the actual music. The rest, a little lower than probably, probably, like, yeah, probably lower than that. I was just being a little bit. Cause, I mean, you, like nowadays, you ain't even gotta be a rap to actually Make it. Right, and so, so really, uh, what I'm saying is, is it's more about a personality. It's more about people relating to that person. Okay. You see what I'm saying? It's, it is about your music, but before people, before your music, people are gonna see you. They're gonna see you. They're gonna relate to you. They're gonna see how you dress. They're gonna see how you carry yourself. How you interact with people. Okay. People see that and they relate themselves to you. They decide right then, am I gonna fuck with them or not? You see what I'm saying? Yeah. But I feel like um, Mike Strange is one of those people who is very. You know, very rooted in our culture, but at the same time, his personality, he has an outstanding personality, is very marketable. His his delivery is very marketable. I feel like you can, you know, when he does these speeches with Don Trips and these different people, he stands out. I just feel like it's something that, that that's very memorable. And, you know, a lot of people may not, they may feel differently, and that's cool, because I mean, that's how I feel. But uh, I feel like he would be someone as well who is, um, who is very marketable right now, who's ever taken that step. Yeah, we asking your opinion. Yes. You know, this is I think third would probably it wouldn't be an artist, it would be production. It would okay. be producers. And because I'm talking about more people you, you talked about more uh, putting people on, taking that step and being able to get notoriety with Huntsville and getting that spotlight. Okay. I think production wise, um, there's so many talented producers here. Um, but probably, you know, block leaders, Mally Boy, since they're international right now, um, the things that they're doing, like for instance, um, this issue we had here with uh, Stolly, that's actually Concrete Nashville. But guys like that, MMG, there's so much, there's so many national artists that they're doing production for right now that people don't know about that it's just, it's, it's like a discredit. It's almost like, it's almost disgraceful that people don't know this from our city because these are our people and yeah. they're doing things internationally right now. We feature some guys uh, from Sweden right here. They were on the Dirty Issue, as a matter yeah. of fact, with the Dirty Boys, but they're from Sweden. They just, um, they opened a studio, man, in, in Sweden. So, that's that's not that's Huntsville, Alabama, man. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, it's in Sweden. Yeah, so, so, in Sweden right. right now. And speaking of that, they got Chinks Drugs over there. They just brought him from from New York, right? Ain't that for I, I think so. The New York area. Yes. They say the, the metropolitan New York area. I don't know exactly where he is, but mm -hmm. I, I I recently got on Chinks with that couple niggas on. satellite radio and I heard the song and it, it was going off it was just a beat playing mm -hmm. 
be stupid. What the fuck did that? So I went back and you know they they I like who is this Ching Sperl dude? So I went and I checked out his music. I'm like okay, I did him. And then you know I was talking to um Cody, yep. and he was telling me he said, bro, you know we just we just opened up the studio in Sweden, and that, you know we actually yes. are, we to show that we have international ties, we gonna we gonna bring chinks to Sweden. Mm -hmm. And you know, start that process of a tour, set them up with you know what we got going on over there. Mm -hmm. He said we're doing that in order to open the door so I can go ahead and bring people from the city yep. there. You know what I'm saying? They yep. can see. He said one, two is to show that we got a reach bigger than just yes. our city, and yes. then two is to give the opportunity to show that we can bring in the big names that you need. You know right. what I'm saying? So. Right. Using right. us as that liaison to get into the states is well worth it. Yes, yes, and that's 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 what people need to know. It's like people need to appreciate these guys because of what they've done. Like it's almost like if you're not in this industry or or, or affiliated with it, you don't see the work that goes into it. So I I think Huntsville's hidden talent is our production. You have so many producers, uh, PR, Chipmunk, Ben, ben Frank, Frank oh, Lil Sid. Uh, Mally Boy, Block Beaters, uh, who else? Deezy, who else? Uh, uh, Shout P. Shout P. Uh, PR. Yeah. Uh, money. Money. Uh, dope. Dope, yeah. Uh, I yeah. said Chipmunk, Chipmunk. Yeah. Branson yeah. Edwards, guys yeah. like him. It's a whole, it, man, it's a, it's a lot of dope, mm -hmm. dope music being made off the production from here. Yes, and I'm talking about with major albums. I'm yes, talking about yes, Nelly's, like Ben Frank, and like people don't realize they're, they're doing this work. Oh, people don't understand how, even though we're such a small market, we're on the way. Like Nashville is one of the best cities to benchmark off of because uh, Nashville grew probably within a 10 year period. Yeah. Huntsville, it's the same thing that's gonna happen. You know, they started um, by their infrastructure. They started building downtown. They started building condos, these different buildings. And then they had these big corporations coming. Mm -hmm. Our big corporations deal more with our military. Yeah. So yeah. we bring these, we bring missile defense and aerospace. We have one of the largest research parks in the nation right now. So things like that is what fuels numbers. So you really have to go to the basis of it and think of uh, listeners as numbers. The bottom line is the more numbers you have, the more numbers an artist can do as far as selling, as far as merchandising, as far as views, hits. So the more people that you have in a concentrated environment, the more that the market, the more that the local economy is going to thrive because that means there's more people to spend money. You know what I'm saying? And that's what's happening with Huntsville. It's growing. It's growing pretty fast too. Bugatti, the Mazis, and Ferraris Born in a little some exotic She packed, hop out at him, fire up that exotic That Kush, that design of my attire Louis, such and such Bugatti, the Mazis, and Ferraris Drop the top on that Rari Passage of my baby mama, she looking exotic Snuggle made her right behind me, don't they see my Ronnie Blowing on that hydroponic, bumping that ironic Backseat is that Tommy, run up if you want it Send shots to your Tommy, blue money, blue money Now who run it, blue money, pick on if you coming Cause I'm busting, I'm busting, knock the top off of your cutlass Your top come off disgusting, my business no discussion Design of my attire, got your baby mama lusting You mad cause I bust she mad cause it's nothing She calling, I fuck her, you left and I snuck her, yeah Who got it, the Mazis and Ferraris? Born in a little something exotic She packed, hop out at him, fire up that exotic Thick cushion, then design of my attire Such and such